creatures that are living on the bottom of the water pit, waterbed. We call them benthic natural invertebrates. Um, basically, that includes the nymphs and larval forms of a lot of common insects that you'll know: dragonflies, mayflies, blackflies, mosquitoes, all sorts of stuff like that. As well as um, creatures that live in the water their entire lives, like crayfish, clams, snails, things like that. Um, and by looking at them, we already know there's sort of a basis, basis out there that tells us, well, this type of a bug can only live in really pristine waters, in really healthy waters. So if we find that type of bug, chances are the water's pretty good. So that's like a bio-indicator. The other reason benthics are good is because since they live in the water either their whole lives or at least for a few years, um, they can tell us sort of over time whether the um, watershed is healthy or not. So, you know, if something, if a really big uh, flash water event or some, some big chemical shock happened, it would wipe out a lot of the sensitive species and then they would take a long time to recover. So that would give us an indication of that. Anything? Yeah, there's a bunch on here. Come on. There's a leech on here too. Beware. Ew, is that a leech? Yeah. And pretty much like every rock there's a stone fly on. So that's good. Yeah. I think they're the lowest, like least tolerant, eh? That's right, yep. So we've got one, two, three, four, five stone flies and a cast. One got away too, so there's six. Okay. A lot of stoneflies. Yeah, they were all on this rock. Like it was ridiculous. Wow. It's hard to get them. Stonefly Central. Was it in a really riffly spot too? Like where there's. Oh uh, yeah, right down there, right Perfect. like at the bottom of that. And that's exactly what we'd expect, right? Because they yeah. eat lots of oxygen. So, so should I empty this? Yeah, like, you can go ahead and empty. I think we got everything. You know. Should I just empty it in the river? Yeah, just put them back in your lab. Quest. It's sort of our citizen science water chemistry device. It does a few basic things for us. Um, we measure temperature, conductivity pH, dissolved oxygen, and nitrate with it. Um, today, unfortunately, we were only able to do uh, temperature, pH, and conductivity um, because the dissolved oxygen flow is. Uh, yeah. Sometimes we have to adjust this little. Uh, this is different by its nature. So we can't also really. more sensitive. But yeah. So part of what we're working on is really trying to um, differentiate how much of it's natural how much and how much of it's based because of our activities. And that's work that's still ongoing.